Miles Lawrence, Commissioner. I'm sorry to bother you at this hour, but I have to say I can't wait. Let's hear it. I have important information for you about the murder of Spencer Truman. Don't worry about it, Bo. I'll handle it. What's going on here? John here suggested that we put all our cards on the table. I think that's a good idea, don't you? You admitted to killing Spencer. We're all aware of that. The question is, what are we going to do with that information? Hello? I know you told John about our arrangement. You didn't tell me anything. I figured it out on my own. It's true. I never would have said anything on my own, and you know why. So... You didn't betray me? I already told you that. You got anything straight in that head of yours? Man, if you can blackmail someone into marrying you, you think you'd be a little brighter. I married Marty out of love. And she was more than willing. Not that it's any of your damn business. Well, make it my business. You break the law, that's what cops do, Miles. Well, if you're so interested in putting away bad guys, why isn't she in handcuffs? I mean, knowing what you know, doesn't that make you an accessory after the fact? I mean, if Commissioner Buchanan found out, your career would be over. You even try to stop it. John, just stop it, okay? He's not worth it. You really want to play the simpleton? I understand this, and I'll speak slowly. Mari's confession was made in confidentiality to her therapist and is, in any court of the world, inadmissible as evidence. Yeah, well, I know enough about the law that if Marty's confession came to light, Commissioner Buchanan is obligated to have her in for questioning. No, John's right. Dr. Young couldn't tell him anything. Well, I'm sure our crack police officer Buchanan would find a way around that. But you're obligated to report what you know. I mean, after all, David Vickers' confession was good enough for the judge. Why is this any different? Just remember what I told you earlier. You want to lift out of here? I don't think that's necessary. My wife and I will go home together. She's not your wife. She's your prisoner. And like I told you, it's over. But stop it, both of you. Stop talking about it. I'm not even standing here. Okay, this is my life. These are my decisions. Yes, yes, you can turn me in and yes, you can arrest me. But neither one of you have done that, okay? So until that happens, I am making my own choices. And choose. Tell them that you and I are going to go home together. I think you're going to go back to her apartment, get your things, and get the hell out of there. Why would I leave my own home? Stop it. Okay. We both know why we got married. Yeah. Because we love each other and we want to be together. You remember all those late night talks? How I said I would protect you, I would do anything for you? Remember? You killed Spencer. Do you really want John McBain's blood on your hands, too? Thank you for your concern. But Miles is my husband, and I have no intention of leaving him. Oh, Marty. You know what? Why don't you go on ahead, and I will meet you there later. I need to talk to John alone. Uh, I don't see why that would be necessary. You are move it. You're getting what you want, Miles. That should be enough. Don't be long. I'll be waiting. Tell me why you're doing this. I have to. Even you have doubts that you did it. I can see it in your eyes. And I'm going to find the real killer. And in the meantime, you do not have to share a house with this guy. You don't have to share a bed with him. He's not going to touch me. I would never let yeah, him. Yeah, how long do you think that's... Never mind. You know, I... I don't get it. You're too smart for this. There are things you don't know. Then tell me. What else is Lawrence holding over you? And now you're blackmailing me. These are crimes, miles, felonies. You blackmailed me into this marriage. And I'm not having sex with you. Not tonight. Not ever. So please, 
and listen to that good part inside of you and give you that tape and let me out of this marriage. is holding over my head. No matter how much you believe in my innocence and no matter how hard you try to find another suspect, we both know that. And until you do, I am on the top of that list. And if I go to jail, my son will suffer. And it means a lot to me that you want to help me. But this is the way it has to be. My son is my priority, so please understand. I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay. You get the results of your CT scan? Yes. Hmm, you're right. The doctor said I had a head trauma that probably occurred five months ago. The timing's right. They say it was enough to cause a concussion or a loss of consciousness? Definitely. She got hit over the head. You didn't kill Truman. But it's still just a theory. You'll remember more. Well, actually, that's not likely because um, the radiologist thinks that I might not ever recover my memory. I'll try to remember. I, uh, don't hold your breath. Thank you for everything. Why are you thanking me? Nothing's changed. Well, not yet. But it means a lot to have you on my side. I better get home to Miles. You're not going back there. Spend the night at my place. 